Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The unmanned vehicles are disruptive technologies which is going to rule the warfare be it at air, water or land. They not only minimize the human losses but also increase the operational endurance and reach beyond human capabilities. China has developed significant capabilities in this segment which also includes the underwater unmanned vessels or UUVs. As usual, India did develop this technology long time back but could not take it to production and induction into Indian Armed Forces. The UUVs or underwater unmanned vessels or vehicles can be used for both offensive and defensive purpose in underwater warfare. These UUVs can also act as swarm by communicating and coordinating with each other to perform tasks in a coordinated manner. GRSE is going to launch its autonomous underwater vehicle AUV on 28th July 2023. However, the exact details of this AUV is not yet disclosed. What we know that in September 2020, GRSE has purchased four Hugin AUV system from Konsberg. It also includes high accuracy acoustic positioning and communication systems which are expected to aid the AUV operations. Hugin AUV system were procured for installation into the four large survey vessels that GRSE is constructing for Indian Navy. These AUV is very stable and low noisy hydrodynamic platform for payload sensor. It comes with several configuration with operational depth rating of 3000 meters to 4500 meters and 6000 meters. It can operate in supervised, semi-autonomous or completely autonomous mode. The AUV has endurance of 100 hours and speed of 4 knots. The typical payload sensor of AUV are synthetic aperture sonar or side scan sonar, multi-beam echo sounder, sub-bottom profiler, camera, CTD and volume search sonar. These AUV can be used for mine countermeasures, rapid environmental assessment and intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance mission. Now if we compare the GRSE AUV and Konsberg Hugin, they look significantly different. We will have to wait for AUV to be launched to get more details on it. MDL is also developing AUV Swan Drones concept under the Indian Government's Innovation for Defense Excellence IDEX initiative based on the requirement outlined by Indian Navy. So if you look at the requirement, as per ITEX challenge, the autonomous and intelligent underwater swan drones should be equipped with advanced image processing and artificial intelligence capabilities to deliver a payload of minimum 7 kg in the seabed at a minimum of 60 meter depth. The swarm should be intelligent to detect underwater mines and coordinate the delivery of payload on the mines. Now, as we all know that the Lima Exhibition 2023, which is similar to Aero India, is ongoing in Malaysia. The MDL is also participating in the event where they have showcased their new concept, which is called Mine Countermeasure MCM Swarm. This was also showcased by MDL during Defense Expo 2022. From the name itself, it is clear that this system is meant for countering the underwater mines lead to hunt submarines. The system follows master slave architecture. That is, it will have one MCM which acts as a master AUV and two slave AUVs. The master AUV controls the two slave AUVs which are designed to perform different roles. One slave AUV can perform role of mine locator while the other one can act as a mine buster. The master AUV establishes the communication with slave AUVs and the mothership which could be a warship or submarine. These AUVs can be launched from existing torpedo tubes of Indian warships and submarines. They are powered by two 44 kilowatt hour batteries and have a length of 1.8 meters, diameter of 251.79 meters and weighs around 60 kg. The AUVs are capable of operating at a speed of 4 knots with a payload of 7 kg for up to 4 hours. They can operate at a depth of 60 meters. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. 
if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector